Summerfest releasing its music lineup for this year's September run. It includes big names like Miley Cyrus, Chance the Rapper, Luke Bryan, the Jonas Brothers, the Zac Brown Band, and the Dave Matthews Band. What a lineup. While fans are not the only ones excited about the Summerfest announcement, New at 5, Tony Atkins reports vendors are also thrilled to know they're one step closer to the big gig. In September, for three weekends, the gates here at Summerfest grounds will finally reopen. Vendors say they're excited to get back to work, and they're not going to take their spots inside for granted. We're ready to have a big party. Everybody go get vaccinated. After nearly two years, Summerfest is finally on its way back. It's going to be weird, but it's going to feel so great walking back on those grounds. Hannah Kitsaro is the festival director for Saz's Hospitality Group. She says after a tough year of business, Sazis, like many other groups, has adapted to working during the pandemic, which should translate to safe, efficient business during the fest. Any safety precautions that we have to take, we're going to take them, and we're just going to follow what Summerfest lets us know in the future. Summerfest is working with health leaders to formulate a plan to keep everyone safe. We are making sure that masks are going to be um, worn and enforced. We're asking for physical distancing in some settings. All right, you are all set. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy the day. You too. Wauwatosa's ultimate confections candy will also be a Summerfest vendor. I think it's uh, great. Everything that starts up is a good thing for the city. Owner Pat Murphy says while he's excited to come back, he's unsure of the safety measures he'll need to take in September. No matter what those are, though, he says he's ready to serve outdoors again. Right now, that's kind of a moving target, and uh, I'm sure by that time, uh, you know, things hopefully will be more open and and easier to run the operation. The Summerfest, along with the State Fair, giving us some sense of normalcy as we head toward the end of the summer season. However, many events initially scheduled for the summer have been canceled. For a list of some of those events, visit our website, tmj4.com. For now, reporting at Summerfest Grounds, Tony Atkins, TMJ4 News. All right, Tony, thanks.